Yay! Welcome back to our live stream. So today we have a very special guest, as you can see. Before we get started, I do want to mention a couple of things. First, Adam is still here with us. Don't think he's not. He's behind the scenes. He's our expert on equipment, lighting, and audio. So make sure let's make sure things sound fine please give make us sure that you can actually hear us this time so yes. we're not going to have any more issues <laughs> yeah. and uh well first you know i want to welcome julian this is julian r uh he's a professional photographer who came here today something happened why is that are we on there we're we back are. on we're back on Okay, Yay. so we're back on. Please let us know if you can see us fine. Um, so as I was saying, uh, I'm gonna turn it on to our professional yes. photographer, Julian. But before we do that, I do wanna remind you guys of our special giveaway we have going on in our channel now. You'll find the link below for the Sigma 150 to 600 telephoto lens. It's a great giveaway for the total eclipse we have going on uh, here in the States, August 24th. First, 21st. and we also have a, a giveaway today here. You have to stay tuned till the end to know what we're giving away, but it'll be pretty useful. So, pretty Julian, cool. how, how, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me here. Thank you for it's coming. It'll be a in. lot of fun. So, can you tell us a little bit how long you've been doing this for? What kind of photography you specialize in? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, the big question how long have I, how <laughs> have I been doing it for professionally it's gonna be five years but really as a business um, focusing just on this and just living from photography however I've been shooting um, for over 10 years now since I was in college um, it's funny because most of the photographers have a story of oh uh, I was six years old and I my my granddad gave me a camera or something like that I wasn't born like that <laughs> Uh, but I was very into arts. Mm. Uh, I loved graphic design, I loved advertising, so I knew I wanted to communicate with graphics. But when I was in college and I took the photography class because that was one of the courses that I had to, to do, and it was film photography. Oh, wow. Yes. So being in the dark room and everything, for me, that was magic. And it was a point that I said, like, if I can communicate through this medium, through this art, that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. Mm. And then it started just like building it, and that's what I've been doing the last four and a half almost five years that's beautiful Thanks. can you tell <laughs> us because now that you you said well f and first uh, izzy i don't know if you want to say hi to your fans because we have a lot of people oh here i saying, am so hi, glad izzy, that you joined hi, us izzy. again and that we're actually live and we have audio that's why you don't see adam over here he's making <laughs> sure it's all working that way we have a preset and we won't have any more issues but instead of having adam that's what we brought over julian so he's going to give us all a big hand <laughs> in trying to help you out with portrait photography because I know that I've seen the questions on our on our YouTube mm -hmm. channel on our customer service uh, blog so you know we wanted to make sure that we brought somebody that knows what they're doing obviously you're gonna be able to see a link to his page so you'll be able to see some of his work and we're actually I think we're gonna show we yeah, some we're, of his we're work gonna right be sharing yes, some awesome. of that and, and so you guys can ask questions and Julian can go over his process from... He's not going to give um, you all his secrets. Yeah. I know, no, I, I keep him here in the hat. <laughs> He's not that nervous. But um, one thing I wanted to ask you now that you, you said, you know, that was a way for... You discovered a way for you to communicate with others is what would you say it's uh, the, your most favorite or meaningful moment uh, taking a a picture of someone that you've experienced and we have a lot of airplanes flying through here so yeah, should be you might have to right repeat now. yourself <laughs> but um, I know that a lot of photographers more than the camera itself they're mm -hmm. looking for what happens yes in the photo and after so mm -hmm. what what would you say was your favorite that's the thing and, and I I think we all photographers we talk too much because we have so many stories because the camera in the end, and we were just mm. talking about cameras and gear before we were doing the live with Easy, and uh, that is just a tool. Mm -hmm. That is just what allows me to capture that moment in time. Mm -hmm. and, and it's difficult because it's just one frame, and I'm just stopping time just for that frame. So a moment that I remember, I remember so many, just from each and every work, that is just like, oh my God, this looks so pretty, because everything just, uh, worked golden hour no golden <laughs> hour could be golden it could be head. the the clothing it could be just the expression um 
in a portrait that we're talking today, just a very intense and very truthful moment. Definitely. Yeah, and I, and I asked you that because specifically for portraits, I know one question, I, I'm not a professional photographer, but I know what makes it kind of hard mm -hmm. sometimes is to capture a good angle of that person. Mm -hmm. And as a photographer, I don't know if you go through that, like what, depending on what you're trying to get from that, what emotion you're trying to yeah. get, what feeling, what story, what message. Is there anyone that you photographed before, a family member or a friend that you remember seeing the picture and just loving it? I love many pictures um, because of what you're saying. I mean, it's so meaningful that you I kind of get attached. Like we, we meet for one moment through the camera, through the lens. I connect with the other person. Um, it is, it is very easy for me just to take a simple picture. I can take a phone because we have technology available at our hands right now that is so powerful and it makes it so easy. So I can take a picture of your face and that's really easy to do. But to really connect and make something memorable, that takes a, a different connection. Yeah, you have to get it all to come <laughs> together and you want to show uh, the meaning behind the, mm -hmm. the person. Exactly. And it's really important because if not, you might as well just be doing photography for like passport pictures or licenses or something and it's that you're capturing the image mm -hmm. but you're not showing the true person and that's really important yes. in portraiture which a <laughs> lot of people they get, get caught up with the gear you know oh wow what do you use what's this and and a lot of times it's not the gear it's being able to to make that connection with your subject exactly. and be able to put it across so that when other people see the image they're like oh wow Look at the expression that they have, and, and that goes across. So exactly, exactly. Just stop being an operator and start creating. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what it is. Awesome. So I think shots? we're ready to share some of Julian's pictures. Uh, we're going to be sharing about six total, uh, and we'll let them breathe for a little bit. Uh, we welcome you guys to ask any questions for that specific picture, or just questions in general for you know a professional photographer who has a lot of experience. You've worked with a lot of ad agencies and yep. fashion, beauty, makeup. Exactly, so to answer your question of what is my field, um, I work with portraits, but ma mainly what I do, I'm a commercial photographer who specializes in fashion and advertising, so all that is related with clothing brands, you name it. I mean, it could be from, from um, swimwear to sportswear right now, it could be shoes, it could be jewelry. Um, I also do fashion editorials and I also direct, so I also do video. There we go. Which nowadays we have to. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so, great. So, we're so let's ready. get one there. Let's get started. Ready for the first picture. <coughs> and Adam is, has let us know that the picture is up, so right. whenever you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about what you were doing here. Absolutely, this is a very beautiful picture. Um, what we're seeing in there, I mean, all of this could be considered into the field of, of portraiture, right? But then, it, depending on the use, and that's what happened in the commercial world, depending on the use and the purpose of the shoot, is that we transform that for a specific purpose, and then we shoot it in a different way. Uh, her, I mean, this is a professional model represented by an agency, and of course, that uh, gives me a level of confidence of what I'm going to get from her. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, it's something more than that. So this was very geared towards skincare and um, beauty portraiture. Mm -hmm. So when we think about beauty portraiture and, and all those things in the realm of commercial photography, uh, we're thinking on the brands mm -hmm. that could use it for in the advertise, advertising agencies as well. So it's um, very evenly lit which mm -hmm. uh, many people would say technically, okay, that's boring, but it depends mm -hmm. on the purpose, yep. you know? And, I, and I'm with you. I mean, there are yeah, some, yeah. some ways of lighting that could be um, no, I like very high key. even. High yes, key exactly, even high key. Yeah, yeah. We go to the technical side. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and again, like you're saying, it, this has to do with, uh, you said it was for a makeup line? Yeah, actually for uh, um, just beauty skincare. and skincare. Yes, yeah. exactly. She, she's, is she wearing makeup? I mean, she barely. is. Mm -hmm. she exactly. Is? So, so that's the thing. When mm -hmm. everything comes together, there is like um, this trick or this look that it's called the no makeup makeup mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. And I gotta give the props to to Lenny Billy, my my makeup artist, because she created this look for for the model. 
So she does uh, have quite some makeup in there. Wow, you, wow. you but, can't be able, yeah. But is yeah. the, yeah, it, it is, um, and I've gotten this from the makeup artists, um, the way the light affects, mm -hmm. you know, the skin is yeah. not the same if it was this, that it's uh, for still photography. Right. And if we had like hot lights for, for video, it's totally different the way it's going to affect. And if we go to theater lighting, then the makeup would have to be different right. in order to be uh, shown and or I like represented. And the way that you made her put, place her hands on her head. Is yes. That, was that to uh, get a specific? That was on purpose. That was on purpose. Absolutely. Uh, because with the skin care, we need to be very delicate. We, mm -hmm. we need to bring all those adjectives and, and actions for people because we, we value the skin that is very soft, mm -hmm. smooth, it's moist. So, no, no, it's <laughs> so we need to, to bring like all those uh, ideas you know, or preconceptions that people have into the picture mm -hmm. and represent it somehow so that they understand the message that they're getting in the end. Right. So talk about difficulties in, in portraiture is that, okay, I have a message that the brand tells me this is what we want to communicate, um, these are the ideas that we have, and we go through all the process, and how to represent that creatively in one picture. Wow. Very yeah. Nice. Is that <laughs> part of why her hair is not on her face? Exactly. Okay. Yes, exactly. Beautiful. So imagine you are in, uh, in the middle of, I don't know, a paradise, not necessarily a jungle, but there's a clean river. Like, all of those mm. ideas just come to you. Yeah, it has a, it's portraying <coughs> purity. Yeah. That's what yeah. it looks Purity. Like. Mm -hmm. That was the word. Yep. That's exactly. Right. Beautiful. Okay, so we're Very all right. moving on to the next picture. This is a fun picture. Ooh, yep. <laughs> now we went to another side. <laughs> <laughs> to the dark side. <laughs> to the dark side. <laughs> disco. This reminds me of disco. Yeah. What, what this were you doing so. here in this picture? What was this for? Okay, so we went from a very structured um, photo shoot or photo. Uh, because we had an ad agency and we had uh, an art director tell me basically this is what we want to mm -hmm. to show and represent to this field because this was part of a creative shoot it was an editorial so when we go to editorials it, it allows us to be creative a little bit crazy mm -hmm. <laughs> and then just like go places mm -hmm. and that's what we did on this shoot um, this is just the portrait but we had it was a series of like five to six pictures and um, it was all about the lighting. Yes, we had ooh, yeah. uh, like eight lights yeah, yeah, we were shooting. Definitely we, we were going lighting crazy. Yep. And then we mixed um, constant lighting with flashes. Mm -hmm. wow. And we started working with the movement. So maybe we dragged the, the shutter speed mm -hmm. so it was a little slow. Yep. And um, because it was just like the duality, mm -hmm. you know, of her being. Yeah. Like there's something like that, yeah. inside her that wants to come out. Yeah. And uh, so I told her, you know what? <coughs> when I take the picture, just move to the side. Aww. So it creates the ghosting. Mm -hmm. Wow, and but you, you wouldn't, so she's moving? She was moving, yes. Wow. So the flash uh, allows me to capture and right. freeze the moment. However, since we had um, the, the so slow shutter speed and we had mm -hmm. the constant lighting, it allows, it allows to cap to that to be captured by the sensor of the camera. And there's some incredible makeup in there involved too, And right? there's just some crazy makeup that goes with the topic yep. and the theme as well. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> it, it, it has to be a very confident woman, you know. Yep. What, what camera were you using in that photo? Uh, that's a good question. If you remember. If I remember, there are two options. It could be a Canon camera or it could be a medium format camera. Okay. Not sure. So let's go with the Canon. <laughs> <laughs> People are rating your pictures and everything. Oh like my God! Some good <laughs> no <here>. pressure. <laughs> <laughs> well, so if, if actually if they have any questions in regards yeah. to the pictures, so by all means, I would love to to answer okay, the perfect. questions. I'll let you know if we get any specific questions. We I okay. do have a couple of questions for you at the end, just mm -hmm. like more professional photography questions. Um, so if you want, we can move on to the next uh, photo. Sure leave the fun behind and go to so let's move on to the other one well while the picture comes up um i remember one question that a friend of mine just just did earlier today her name is corny corny thank you very much for your question and she was asking me <coughs> like what is the best way to to light for photos and videos mm. 
So I told her, well, I'm going to try to answer that question because it's like two questions in one. Mm -hmm. And why do I say that? Because still pictures and video, they are two different realms. They're two different worlds. So what could work for pictures, it doesn't necessarily work, and it doesn't <laughs> really work for, for video. In video, we need a lot of constant light and a lot of power at the same time mm -hmm. for us to be even l be lit like this very soft. We need that power. Whereas in um, photography, since I have the availability of the shutter speed, it could go like really fast. I could play with that, and I also have the sensibility of the film or the ISO, the sensibility of the sensor that I can play with and you know um, do it differently. So the best light, there is no best light. Um, that that sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in photography, yes, you need to, l to learn all the rules mm -hmm. and do learn them, master them, work really hard on them, but then break it, mm -hmm. break all the rules. I mean, okay. yeah, what could work, what everybody says it works, it could n not necessarily work for what you're doing, and what people say is the rule, you can actually break it and find out something very good. And bringing the realm of photography, like in here, this picture that just came up, we see it's very standard, just in front, just eye leveled and all that stuff. But when we're going to fashion, since fashion for me, it's art and commerce combined. So mm -hmm. we can go very crazy. And yes, we're selling some products, but we can go very crazy and very artsy. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I could go with a very wide angle lens mm -hmm. and shoot a person and shoot a portrait. And a lot of people would be, Julian, why are you doing that? That's crazy. The person is going to look ugly, blah, blah, blah. But if there's a concept and, in, and if you show it in a certain way, it could look very appealing and very artistic. And then right. you see that in, very, in, in most of the editorials. So I could be shooting an editorial with a 35 millimeter lens. Absolutely. And it yeah. will go nuts. <laughs> so this was uh, uh, for a this fashion one. shoot? That was actually, yes, it was a fashion shoot. Mm -hmm. and. Um, a little side note, the model is a very good friend of mine and she's a Colgate model. Oh my so goodness. So hence the, the, <laughs> the, the, the perfect the smile. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. the smile. So yep. yes, exactly. That is the first thing, you know, that's yep. the money makers well, yeah. right there. <laughs> immediately, I mean, you know, everybody always looks at the eyes, but with this shot, you immediately catch yeah. that smile. Yeah. Immediately. So And there's a difference, I, I'm assuming, between her just phasing completely frontal mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and you having her place her hand under her yes yes um, it could be an artistic it could be an artistic decision mm. uh, I just wanted to and for you know hobbyists you can be just like hey I, you kind of look better on this side so I shoot it this way mm -hmm. um, again from on the commercial world sometimes I don't have that capacity it's just the art director that says this yeah. is this is the way they, the brand is Yep. So we always shoot from this side. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, you have to yep. do it. And it's it's you're right with, with what you're saying and pointing out. Colgate, it's always about like that little curved mm -hmm. line mm -hmm. of the smile. Mm -hmm. Because remember, when we um, draw cartoons, we always have like the little curved smile, you know. And even to decide if it's just like a little smirk, just to show the fullness of the of the teeth. So. Hence Colgate, here we go. Beautiful, that's a beautiful photo. <laughs> and uh, also we need to pay attention to the makeup. This was mm -hmm. Lenny. And the red had to be yeah. a very specific red as well. Bring on that white, right? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking about different red lipsticks. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Try to a, find this one. Ten ten. <laughs> that's a yeah. Ten ten. <laughs> so I guess we could go on to the next one. Awesome photos. Which one would be your favorite from all the ones from that we've shown? From all this? All four. Wow so difficult. To me, maybe this one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this one, yes. This is a fun one too. I love mm -hmm. the makeup there. N now you started to see the difference, yeah. right? Between mm -hmm. something that is more structured and something that is more on the free editorial. And that's the reason why we love editorials, because mm -hmm. we can go a little crazy, mm -hmm. not only on the makeup, on the styling, the posing, like pretty much everything is just about telling a story. And that's that's great, especially like when you're wor when you're starting and when you're just a hobbyist, you have that freedom of just shoot whatever you want because it pleased your eyes. Mm -hmm. and then you start developing your eyes. So when we shoot editorials, we kind of go into that into the basics of ourselves. Like, who am I? What am I shooting? Uh, what do I want to show? Instead of okay, just do it this way. 
And this one was that. I mean, it was a collaboration with Jude. Jude is the makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Very good makeup artist. Incredible. And, and I told her, let's just go a little bit crazy. Right. Why don't we do something avant-garde? Mm -hmm. And we got a very good model, of course. And she went just like, how about this? And I'm like, okay, let's play with this kind of colors. What do you say? Okay. And that day I was just like, okay, I'm feeling like kind of edgy. Why don't we do it with really harsh light? Mm -hmm. And a lot of the technical people would be like, but harsh light on people. Yeah. Don't shoot at noon. Mm. Magic hour. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Because it's more soft. It's pleasing, that orangey tone. But what if we do it opposite? We break the rules. Mm -hmm. you, you what if we shoot at night? No, that was th this was at studio, but studio. I've done yeah. like this kind but of work. The contrast, look at the exactly. The tremendous she contrast. She has like a very bright light on her face. Oh yes. How do you get that shadow that you can see like right below her? Right below her, that's the that's the height of the light. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's in front of her and a little above the head. So that's the reason why you also see the shadow in the background, right um, right. just right behind her. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you when, if you go to a book, if you go to school, it would be yeah, like, first thing, don't, don't do, do that. that. Exactly. You're gonna wash out the people, mm -hmm. and so um, the nose and everything is just gonna look like one thing. Okay, yes, but what if you control that a little bit? You definitely okay. controlled it. Yes, <laughs> I can see her nose. Yeah. No, I mean, I okay. like the the sharp angle and everything. It's incredible. Exactly. It has I'm aging myself, that Ziggy Stardust look to it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds like, me. <laughs> <laughs> but it reminds me also of Steve Hyatt, the yep. photographer mm -hmm. from the old school that I admire a lot. I've, I actually worked with him once, um, and that's aging ourselves. Yep. <laughs> Talk about that. Um, but he uses like that kind of light. Mm -hmm. And um, it, yeah, so it goes with the concept of what I wanted to transmit and communicate. I wanted something that was fierce, that was out of the conventional. Right. So of course the makeup, it's a level of drama. Um, the pose, it's very angular. She's very confident. Mm -hmm. like very yes. She owns it. Exactly. Yeah. Like I am in control of this situation. So you see in just one portrait all the different levels of communication that we have, all the messages that we're transmitting. Was this for, for a makeup uh, just no, fashion? this was just a collaboration. Oh, okay. So wow. yeah, sometimes we just get together people from the industry and it's like, hey, I have mm -hmm. an idea. Why don't we shoot it? That's awesome. Um, yeah, it's it's um, a thing of constant creation. We need to be constantly creating. So I'm gonna throw a question at you yeah. while we wait for the next picture. Is Absolutely. do you like taking portrait shots in the studio or outdoors? And I, I think that's a little bit the lighting comment yes. that you were saying? That's a great question. I personally prefer on location uh, because I can bring other elements, mm -hmm. the background and, and you know the time of the day, all that stuff. And I know it's scary for many people because it's like, how am I going to control the, the sun? I can't do that. Well, you can find the shadow, you can create the shadow. Yeah, exactly. If you have a reflector yep. a or a cardboard, then you get creative. Yep. So you get creative on how am I going to solve this problem? And that, as a professional, that's what I need to do every single day. Mm -hmm. So for example, this picture that just came out, uh, this picture was shot in Montreal, in the old port. Oh, Montreal. Yes, I know. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and um, a lot of people ask me like, okay, so did you have a good, uh, a big crew for this? How was the lighting? Because it looks like so particular. And I'm like, well, if I tell you the story, you're, <laughs> you're gonna hate me. Yeah. Because this was like a very shady uh, alley mm -hmm. <laughs> in Montreal. And I was just uh, walking with the models. We were just like, okay, let's, um, let's find a good place to shoot. So I was walking with them and then I see the, this alley and I'm like, hey guys, we should actually shooting here and see what comes out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course this this one came out. So on and location. I, and I like the tight crop, that's a Yes. Yes, absolutely. But still you can you can sense that I'm I'm a fashion photographer because mm -hmm. I'm showing the clothing in there, not only the, the face. But that's just like my DNA as a photographer now. Right. Like I can leave it. What do you ask him outside. to do to in order to get that look that he's giving you? Well, <laughs> what's the question for him, or what's the the command? <laughs> well, sulk. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no um, I'm the kind of, of direct. The, the way I direct um, 
it's very into collaboration. Um, I know each person is different. Teamwork. And yes, I mm -hmm. believe a lot in, in teamwork. So one of the things that I believe is that no one knows their bodies as the models or as a person that you have in front of you. Mm. Let's go outside of the models. I mean, I'm not my mom, hence I cannot uh, think or assume that she will behave in a certain way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I try to connect with the person to take that out. Mm. Oh, so you were a dancer. Okay, so you must know like how to control your moves and all that stuff. Why don't we just start from this? You know, let's, and I create a story to, for show them. Show me your moves. Yeah, show me a little bit of your moves, and, and then I start like guiding. So okay, you create like, a story yeah. with guess, them to one, connect? Yeah, one of the things that I do um, for models as well, as well as actors when we're shooting video is try to create a story that they put in their minds because that'll make it so much easier and I can make you comfortable because you're not thinking oh my god he's shooting me with a super 8 millimeter lens that you guys have <laughs> <laughs> and he's like right there like one inch from my nose he's gonna get that is uncomfortable yeah. Yeah. right um, so if I do that I establish a story so okay imagine you're a very confident woman you're, you're executive you're the CEO of your company you ask you know. them to imagine or you tell them they're confident? yeah no I, I tell <laughs> them that story okay so yeah, think about great. this how would that person behave how would that person act yeah she's gonna um, stand in a certain way because the lifestyle that she has isn't it goes in this way and that way okay so, dude, you own Montreal. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the best alley because you're just getting to your chateau, you're just getting to your castle. Like, how does that feel? Mm -hmm. Plus, maybe I'm talking about brands if it's a model. So, dude, this is Louis Vuitton, this is Armani. How would that feel? You're shooting the biggest campaign of the year for them. He's gonna give me like the best he can. Yeah. Okay. And Not saying that uh, other brands are bad, but right. we create just a story yeah. for the moment. That's where the directing part comes in, where exactly. you have to control. That has helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, just yep. um, be conscious of, of of how the people think or behave, and that comes from from the acting. So we're moving on to the next picture. As we do that, let me ask you a few questions that yeah. people have been. It was one about lighting. So, okay. strobe or continuous lighting? What you prefer when you when you take these? Photos. Hmm. Um, personally, I would say natural light, just because it's available and it's easier. You know, quote unquote easier. I mean, it's just there. Huh. I, ju I just need to. Readily available. Exactly, <laughs> it's readily available, yeah. and I I can just start modifying it if I want. Right. Whereas um, strobe requires time and a little thought process. But, I mean, in my field, I have to do both, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So I cannot be afraid. Um, but the good thing is, like, when we have strobes and we're in a controlled situation, it is a controlled situation, yep. so I can just start moving, adjusting, mm -hmm. and creating things. So that's, so I would say natural light, because it is available, and, um, light, yeah. yes, kind of definitely. All right, so you want to ask something about this picture? Yeah, everything. <laughs> now, first, my first question here is, did you shoot this picture in black and white, or was this done, I'm assuming you shot it in black and white, or did you do that in post? Okay, so let's start with that. Um, this was shot in digital. So the way I do in digital, I shoot in color, and then I just uh, make it black and white. The reason why is because I have all the channels, all the information in the pixels about each and every color, and uh, when I transform that into the black and white, it's going to bring me an image that is going to be richer mm -hmm. in tones yep. and the variations between the black and, and the white, all the, the mm -hmm. different shades yeah, of gray. Yeah, all the mid-tones, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So that's the reason why you shoot it that way. But I know a lot of people that just shoot black and white and digital. I just think they're, they're missing out. <laughs> Could you use a wide-angle lens for specific portraits or...? Yes. Um, it is not a rule, <laughs> yeah. but the way I do it is when I want something like more dramatic or if you're going to show a lot more of the scene. 
think about movies. Movies help us a lot to understand like this. Um, uh, oh, I forgot the name of the director, but um, he uses wide angles all the time. So the difficulty with that is that you have to fill the frame, so they have to create uh, all these sets and everything. So, but that comes with a lot of things that you have to put in there. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to communicate? So if you're trying to be very edgy and different, because remember, when you go wide angle, things are going to get distorted. Yep. So what are you trying to communicate with that? If it goes along with what you're trying to do, do it by all means. Do we have any other questions? Awesome. We do have, so I guess that's it for our photos. Now I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. I'm trying to go um, all the way to the beginning because mm -hmm. I had seen a question there about what, which one was your first DSLR or if you had, if that was your first camera. Okay. Going back like to your beginning stages. Okay. DSLR, <laughs> to be honest, if I remember like the first, like super honest, First one, first one, I think it was like the Canon 10D, like years ago, mm -hmm. okay? But then, okay, a couple years go by, and um, then I think I started with a T2i. It was before the T3, mm -hmm. so like around that time, and I used that camera for everything. I mean, I would carry it everywhere. People would hate me because of that, <laughs> really, because I was the guy taking the pictures everywhere. Yeah. I just wanted to document. Um, and then I started moving on, and then right now what I own, I have a 5D Mark III. I'm a Canon guy, and the reason why is because I'm married with Canon, is because of all the lenses that I have, et cetera, et cetera. Commitment, yeah. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> but as we were talking at the beginning, it's just a tool, so when I'm on, on a job, I could go with a medium format, mm -hmm. because it's a big advertising thing, and we need mm -hmm like depth and other things, so maybe I would choose to rent one. But both Canon and Nikon are right now at the top, mm -hmm. so either one is very good, and the quality is amazing. I mean, the new With 6D Mark II mm -hmm. that just came out, it is great, a great, great, great camera, and it's full frame, mm -hmm. so it's even better. Nice. So since we're reaching the end, uh, before we wrap it up, I want to actually, I'll hand this to you. You can. Uh, this is a softbox diffuser. How would you say that would help you with a portrait photo? A softbox diffuser for a, for a flash. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, this brings um, that light. It transforms it from a harsh light that we saw, like for example, on the um, on the editorial. Uh -huh. You know, that was very avant-garde, very harsh. Yep. Yes. So that picture very harsh, and it transforms it into a very nice and pleasant light. It is a wrapping light. It is it is very beautiful. You know, it, it, it doesn't go from black to white harshly. It just goes into this gradients of, of gray. Um, so you see the skin is smooth, and it's very pleasant to the eye, basically. So this tool will help you a lot with that. Awesome. Definitely. So uh, we have a winner, and the winner has been very interactive on the live chat today not only asking questions, but also trying to help others out as we were discussing the, the photos. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but it's Has Sig Cygnus, Cygnus, Has, um, yay. Congratulations, <laughs> Has. Well, congratulations, you're gonna get this uh, awesome. We'll be in touch with you. Make sure to also uh, check your messages here on YouTube so you can get your soft box diffuser and hopefully shoot some nice portrait pictures uh, using also Julian's and tips. share the pictures, by and all means. And share the pictures, Absolutely. yes, please. Please don't forget to check out our um, giveaway we have going on now, the Sigma 150 to 600 lens. Ooh, huge. Um, it's a huge giveaway, yes, <laughs> and <laughs> it is. It's pretty big, so uh, we hope to see you on there so you can have a chance to win that. We have another special message in that video, so go watch that because we're getting close to 40,000 subscribers. Wow. So awesome. if we do reach that by total eclipse time, we'll have something special going on here at the yep. showroom, which is an amazing place and space for you to come. And I know, Julian, maybe you now that you're here, you can tell people how, how cool this oh, space is. Oh, the showroom is awesome. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was impressed so greatly. Uh, um, 
you have all the gear that you need. I was just asking Izzy a couple of questions of some gear and he surprised me because he had some options that I would use that are like better. It could be lightweight, you know, it could be different factors that I take into consideration. So definitely they have a good variety. So please come and check come it out. Play. Oh yeah. Come, come and play. Oh yeah, this is just this like a, a this toy is a big <laughs> toy store. I keep telling people I'm like, oh my yes God. it is. And I'm also, I also placed all of Julian's links and information down below. So don't forget if you want to take a look at these photos and more because your portfolio is pretty complete and it's great work. So, um, and hopefully you'll be seeing more of Julian too, maybe in the future. And <laughs> Izzy, do you want to give out your, your usual last? Well, again, I need to thank you all for joining us again and putting up with it. And we have to thank Adam in the background. Yay. Thank you, Adam. Step come on, on in camera. On, come on. Adam, I, come nothing's going to blow up now. Yeah. And there he is. See that? <laughs> thank you, Adam. You did it again. You <laughs> wanted to make sure that we stayed on board and we had audio so we didn't have to mime. And again, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Julian, thank for you coming guys. in and helping thank us out. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> and again, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Happy we'll shooting. See you guys Happy next shooting. time. Bye.